Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up Firebase dynamic links. You can use dynamic links to do a number of things, among them is opening a particular post at a particular position in your application. So this is what most people use it for when they are trying to locate a particular file. So let's get busy. First thing you want to do is open your Firebase console and uh, select a project that you want to implement dynamic links in. So I'll show you step by step on how to configure dynamic links and we'll also do a project implementation so that you know exactly how this thing works. So go to Firebase, click on menu, the menu is the button on the top left, then uh, click on go to console. So once you are in your console, you want to choose your project in which you want to implement dynamic links. If you have not yet created any project you can create a project on add project and follow the instructions so i'm considering you already have a project simply select your project let me choose something where i don't have dynamic links okay so choose your project then uh, you can add an app if you haven't already done so this app is the one in which we are going to implement our dynamic links so we can proceed with going to menu scroll down and locate dynamic links just click on dynamic links then you can read about dynamic links there's uh, a lot of documentation going on around this and how it works you can play that youtube video just to get an insight our focus is the getting started button so click on get started then here we need to add a domain if you have a custom domain you can enter it there otherwise just enter a name that you want and uh, firebase will suggest a domain link for you the domain link suggested by firebase contains page.link so let me say example one There we go. So example one dot page dot link is our dynamic link. And we are going to need this. So just copy it and save it somewhere or master it because we're going to need it in our project implementation. Hit continue. So if the name is already taken, it's going to tell you, like it has told me here, the name is already taken, so I have to make another name. Let me say, uh, Dine. Dine link. Dine link. Dine link okay so do the same just copy that and save it somewhere then hit continue and let's see if that one is free okay so that dynamic link is not taken and it has been granted to my project dine link dot page dot link just finish There we go, our dynamic link has been created and uh, you can see it right here. Dynelink.page.link. So 
your your link should be specific to your application in that it's supposed to be unique so as you are setting this up you're supposed to create your own link and not the one i've just created because it won't accept so once you reach this stage it means you are complete with the setting up of dynamic links on server side the next thing we have to do is configure our dynamic links in a project and utilize it 